my royalty is for like kings and queens. Let us continue with foundation for the new world laid part six. Our royalty Israelite Messiah, our Easter, rode into Jerusalem as at the coronation of a king of Israel. By this act, our royalty Israelite fathers are endless, laid the all important building stone before the Jews who wanted to build. God's priority is for life, Father, endless kingdom for him. Matthews chapter 21, verses 42 to verses 44. Luke chapter 20, verses 17 and verses 18. Psalms 118, verses 22 to 24. All right, now that stone that was laid was our royalty Israelite Messiah, Aisa, my people. After riding royally into the capital city, our royalty Israelite Messiah, Aisa, went to the temple and drove out its defiers, the people who was going against the fires. All right, all right then. The people, by singing out Psalms 118, verses 25 and verse 26, were in effect hailing him as king. But the high priest of Israel did not come and anoint him as king at the temple, and duh acknowledged him as the foundation stone. The basis of their hopes for God's priority Israelite by the endless kingdom of his Messiah. No, but four days later, the religious leaders, uh-huh, those no good ass priests, uh-huh, they seized priority Israelite Messiah, Aisa, tried and condemned him to death and handed him over to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate. All right, then. Question number 16. How did the Jew builders completely reject the foundation stone? Now, we just read that, my people. All right. All right. So they handed him over to the Roman governor, Pontius Pallas, for execution by slow death on a torturous stake. So they put him on a stake, people, not on a cross. So throw that cross shit in the nearest garbage can, all right? Oh, hell no, just throw it in the dark matter and be done with it. When Pilate asked, Shall I impel your king? Then, as we read, the chief priestess answered. You understand those old dirty ass cocksuckers? We have no king but Caesar. When our royalty Israelite Messiah did hang on the torturous stake, the religious leaders gloated. And taunted him with they no good asses. When his dead body was entombed, they had soldiers stationed at the memorial tomb, at the memorial tomb to prevent what they thought would be a resurrection of his physical body. That's how dumb they ass was. In this fashion, the Jew builders completely rejected the foundation of the righteousness of the righteous new world. Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 18. John chapter 12, my people, verses 12 through 16. John chapter 18, verse, verse 28, my people, all right? 
to John 19, chapter 19, verse 22. Matthew's verse chapter, excuse me, 27, verse 32 through 66. All right, then. So Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 18. John chapter 12, verses 12 through 16. John chapter 18, verse 28 to chapter 19, verse 22. Matthews chapter 27, verse 32 through 66, my people. The foundation stone had now been subjected to all kinds of pressures, strains, and stresses, and came through the most grueling tests with perfect integrity, showing no weakness of sin. When our royalty Israelite Messiah Isa died and was buried, was the foundation then laid in Zion? No, it was dead and lying on the earth near the polluted earthly Zion, stained it with innocent blood. The Zion where it must be laid is heavenly. So it was laid in the heaven, people, in the capital position of the universe. The foundation must be a heavenly one, a spiritual one. The foundation had been rejected by religious men with their own ideas of God's the Israelite father, endless kingdom. But it was chosen by God, the Israelite father, endless because of its tested preciousness. He alone could lay this foundation in heavenly Zion. To this end, he raised his beloved son from the dead on the third day. Not to the human life again, you understand? Not to the human life again, my people. That had been sacrificed it forever. But to the heavenly life, which this son had been begotten after his water baptism. Forty days afterwards, on the Mount of Olives, his watching disciples saw our royalty Israelite Messiah, Isa, start with, excuse me, start his ascent to heaven. To his heavenly father, our royalty Israelite, Father Endless. Father Endless, my people. Arriving there, he was seated by his father at his right hand. Question number 17. Why was the foundation stone not laid in Zion at our royalty Israelite Messiah, Isa's death and burial? When was the new world's foundation laid? Now, that has been answered, my people, in the reading, all right? All right, then. Arriving there, he was seated by his father at his right hand. You understand? At his right hand, my people, that's where our Messiah was seated. Our Messiah was seated at his right hand on the throne. On the throne, my people, okay? Then the prophet added word of David concerning the Lord, our royalty Israelite, Messiah, our Easter, at Psalms chapter 110, verse 1. Received it fulfillment. So that was fulfilled already, all right? Received it fulfillment. Our royalty Israelite father endless said unto my Lord, Set thou at my right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. Okay, so that's why Messiah said right now, my people, all right? 
Matthew chapter 22, verses 41 through 45. At this point of time, the foundation for the righteous new world was laid in Zion above in heaven in 33 AD or three and a half years after his begetting as a spiritual son and his anointing with the spirit to be the Messiah's king. So that's what that three and a half years got to have, have to do with people, all right? All right, then. Our the Israelite Messiah, our Isa, on earth had been slaughtered like an inoffensive, unresisting lamb. On presenting the value of his human sacrifice at his appearance before his father, our Lord, the Israelite father, endless, on the heavenly throne, the resurrected, okay, our re the resurrected, excuse me, the resurrected royalty Israelite Messiah, our Isa, the Christ, rightly became called it the lamb who was slaughtered from the world's foundation. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. But this was the laying of the foundation of the new world, my people, all right? In a in a preliminary, in a preliminary or first stage way. You understand? So it wasn't complete. It's not complete yet. Okay, that's what they're saying. The complete, final, or full-scale land would take place when his kingdom would be born and his enemies would be made his footstool. You understand? Till then, he, which is speaking of our royalty Israelite Messiah, Aisa, must wait, reigning over only his footstep followers. To this effect, it is written concerning this king and high priest, like Melchizedek, which is speaking about our royalty Israelite Messiah, our Easter, my people. But this man offered one sacrifice for sin. He offered one sacrifice for sin, my people, all right, perpetually and sat down at the right hand of God, our royalty Israelite father, endless. From then on, awaiting until his enemies should be made a footstool for his feet. You understand? Hebrew chapter 10, verses 12 and verse 13. It is therefore in our day, my people, in our day, this day that we are in right now, all right, after the close, of the appointed times of the nations, which was 1914 A.D., okay? 1914 A.D., my people, that we must look for complete, full-scale land of the tested, sure foundation of the divinely made new world. So that's what we're supposed to be looking for right now. The divinely made new world, my people, all right? And of course, you know about that war and the devil getting thrown down here to earth in 1914 A.D. as well, all right? Question number 18. What did our royalty Israelite Messiah then rightly become called it? He became called it, my people, the lamb who was slaughtered from the world's foundation. All right, then. Final 
are full scale.